In this video, I'll talk about CD and LS. CD stands for Change Directory, and LS is short for List, as in List the Contents of the Directory. So if I type LS inside of Sigwin, I will have Oddjob right here, and that's the same as going to Windows Explorer and going to the same folder, and you can see right here that you have Oddjob. If I type cd space odd job and then hit enter, you'll see that the end of this thing right here shows odd job at the end of it. And that's the same thing as double clicking on odd job in Windows Explorer. And Windows in Windows Explorer, you'll see the contents of the, di the directory that you just moved into. And you can do that inside of Sigwin by typing ls. But by default, it doesn't show you files that begin with a dot, whereas Windows Explorer does. So if I type ls space dash a, that will show me the dot git and dot git ignore that show up here in Internet or in uh, Microsoft Explorer. But there's also this dot dot and dot in the Sigwin window and those are short for go uh, the dot dot is short for go up a directory and the dot is short for the current directory so if I type cd space dot change directory into the current directory then nothing happens this string right here doesn't change if I type cd space dot dot you'll see that I go up a directory into documents netbeans projects and that's kind of similar to hitting the back button here, but that's not always going to be the case. Some, uh, the only thing that would be always the same is if you go up here to this text and delete off the everything until the first slash and then hit enter, and that would be the same. And that is ls and cd.